Welcome back, everybody. OK, life can definitely come at you hard sometimes. Your dreams, your goals, all of that can seem impossible. But our next guest wants you to lighten up about all that to get to where you need to be. Joining me now is author of Lighten the F Up. We're, we're censoring ourselves, Madison. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is Madison Malloy. Madison, I'm so happy to have you here on your show. I have to tell you, um, I listened to your book. I actually just finished it last night. And it's, it's pretty wonderful to be able to hear from your perspective exactly how to really lighten up and get to that next goal. So thank you so much for everything you do. Yes, thank you for listening to it and having me on. This is so exciting yes. to come and talk about the book and help people kind of get out of their own way. Yeah. And most importantly, lighten up. We're going to censor <laughs> ourselves again. Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, let's start here. If you could give us a, a little bit of background. You're, you're a Colorado kid, right? Yes, I was born and raised in Colorado. Yeah. And then I went off to school for, uh, in Boston and moved to New York and was there until COVID. And I escaped. I still have a storage unit there, so I go <laughs> back and forth, but it's been so nice to be back in Colorado. And actually, the book was written while I was in Colorado. Wow. So uh, the book yeah. is a native Colorado as well. That's awesome. Well, you have a lot that really brought you to this point of writing this book. Can you tell us what, what brought you to saying, hey, I want to sit down and write this? Yeah, so I, uh, after Wall Street, I decided to follow my uh, dreams mm -hmm. of becoming a stand-up comedian. Yes. And I was all over New York, all over the country, and I fell into depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and just felt like I couldn't get out of my own way. Yeah. And I was constantly like, I know I need to do this, but I just couldn't seem to do it. Right. And when I was finally able to kind of break from those, that, those negative mindsets and those patterns that were holding me back and break free, mm -hmm. I said, I've got to put this in a book because there are so many people out there that are struggling with this same thing yeah. saying I'm not happy I don't know why I feel uptight I don't know why I don't love my life right how can I just lighten up and enjoy this magical life that I was given right and so this book I I had to make it funny because I was a comedian <laughs> and I also thought that if you make people laugh it's a good way to lighten up and it's a good way to remember so they can then apply those things to their own lives. Absolutely, and I completely agree with that. I think that so often, like you said, we're in our own way. So yeah. being able to kind of get that nice co comedic, refreshing outlook on that, I think is wonderful. So why is it so important for someone to get out of their own way to achieve those goals, would you say? Well, because you're the only one that's holding you back mm -hmm. from what you want to accomplish. Yeah. So you're you're the you need to I talk about this in the book validating yourself yes so you can't sit around and wait for other people to tell you yes you can do this you get this promotion you can start this company you really have to validate yourself which allows you to get out of your own way and push through to your goals. Yeah, definitely. This is your life. Make the most of it. Right. I agree. I totally agree. I think it's really important. So what is it that you hope that people primarily gain from your book? I know that for a lot of people, it's it's a lot to, to think, hey, I just need to get out of my own way. But what do you think people should get from reading your book? Just that life is a lot less complicated than we make it. Yeah. And I think we tend to overthink and a lot of times when things don't go our way, we use the life happens to me, which is victim mentality right. versus life happens for me. Hmm. So if you're operating on a life happens for me, you're gonna start seeing more opportunity around you. Yeah, I really like that approach too, because I think, yeah, so often we're like, why is this happening to me? Why am yeah. I the victim here? Like you just said, victim mentality, mm -hmm. when really it's just, life is kind of happening to everybody, right? And, yeah, and if you choose <laughs> to see it as, a, as for you, yeah. you're gonna start seeing the blessings in disguise. Yes. And you're when you're stuck in traffic or you're late, you're gonna say, well, maybe this is God's way of protecting me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to be at that place at that exact moment. Right. So it just becomes a lighter and more fun and less hectic. Yeah, I really like that outlook. Well, before I let you go, Madison, can you give us a couple of tips to achieving those goals? Maybe like one or two kind of quick tips we can work on in life. Yeah, so one of the things is I always tell people, write down your goals. Mm -hmm. It's very important, but it's not just writing down your goals. On the next page or right next to it, um, write down the actions it's going to take to achieve those goals. Yeah. So if you do want to just feel less tense, have less anxiety, write down that goal and then the action plan you can take hmm. because your goals aren't going to happen without the actions behind them. Yeah. So that's a, a quick tip to uh, start 
going towards those goals today. Yeah, I really like that because you do mention that in your book and that was something I sat down. You say, you say to the readers, sit down, write your goals. Uh -huh. Once you're done, come back and read the next chapter, which I think is wonderful. So Madison, yeah. it's so wonderful to have you here on Thank the show. You. Thank you for helping us all lighten the F up. That's the yes, way to do it. Yes, that's the <laughs> message. That's the theme of the year. 2023 <laughs> is going to be a great year. I love that. All right, guys, you can check out Madison Malloy's new book, Lighten the F Up, and purchase it wherever books are sold. A portion of the proceeds do go to different uh, charities for mental health, which is wonderful to help their continued research. So you can visit Malloy, uh, MadisonMalloyRather.com to learn more about her and her incredible book.